Hey, how's it going? This is Ron from Stan you Wolf, and today we're going to be talking about how to install beaver fur silencers onto your bow. And it doesn't necessarily have to be beaver fur, it could be otter fur or any particular fur, but we're going to go through it step by step, really easy, on how you too can install your beaver silencers on your bow. And hey, what better setting than in front of a beaver dam here? I'm here in, uh, here in northern Canada, and uh, these guys don't have to worry about anything. We get our beaver fur from uh, trappers up north, and uh, in turn they sell their fur to traders, and we buy it from the traders, and in turn we make our product, and you guys use uh, the silencers, you guys take down your game, you guys feed your family, and the circle of life continues. It's incredible to know how much uh, you know one beaver literally can put food on the table for so many people. So you know we're really grateful for the animals that uh, sacrifice themselves to allow us to do this. So anyways, let's get right to it. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I've taken off the existing silencers. It's got a bare string right here. Okay, so once I take off the, the beaver first strip out of the package, what I actually do, here's a pro tip. I give it a little bit of a, kind of like a fluffing here. It kind of brings out the loft back to life of the fur. Because sometimes when it's in a package or whatever, it can get pressed down and, you know, you, <laughs> you don't want a limp silencer. You want to bring it back to life. So just give it a little bit of a, just like that, just a rub down. It just brings back the loft and it really helps uh, with some of the noise dampening effects. So once you got that taken care of, you got your first silencer out, what you want to do, assuming this was still, or uh, the string was still strung, you want it about eight inches down from the string. So from here, for instance, uh, you can measure it out with a tape measure or whatever you want, or you can just eyeball it, but uh, typically around seven to eight inches down the string. Once you find that, you want to find the center point of your string. It helps, obviously, to have a two-tone string. Just find that, part it, and once you got that taken care of, put the end of the strip. You see it right there? End of the strip in. Now just wrap it with the existing twist of the string. That's going to help to keep things nice and consistent. Try and keep it as tight as possible. I know it kind of looks a little bit uh, straggly at the moment, but uh, the tighter you have your string, the better it is for your silencer, and it's not going to get so so uh, loose on you. And once you've figured out where the end of it is, same process, you just open up the middle of the string, you tuck in your silencer, give it a little bit of a twist at the end, a little bit of a twist at the top, and you restring it, and there you go. Okay, once you got your string restrung, uh, you can just basically just fluff up the silencer as you see fit. If you find that it's sitting on a bit loose, what I would suggest is that once you get the top loop in, string your string so that you got a lot of tension, then wrap it uh, as best you can. Find that spot where it's uh, going to be sitting where you want it at the end, unstring it, stick the other loop through the hole or through the middle of the string as you've seen before and then restring it and uh, just having that tension on the string makes it uh, a lot better when you wrap it so there you go that's how you put on uh, beaver first silencers or fur silencers uh, you know if you have any questions or if anything wasn't uh, clear enough for you guys just please leave your comments down below I'll uh, make sure to answer anything that you guys have on your mind so anyways thank you so much from Standy Wolf and uh, hope you guys hunt with honor take care